Okay, in this video, we're going to give us an we're going to give an example of the Chinese remainder theorem in action. In other words, we want to solve this system of um, linear congruences. Um, so let's see. We have this setup. So we have x is congruent to one mod three. It's congruent to two mod four, and it's congruent to four mod five. And so recall that the proof of the Chinese remainder theorem is quite constructive, so that gives you an outline of how to find these solutions. So the first thing we need to do is we'll set capital N equal to this product, so 3 times 4 times 5, so that's 60, good, and then N1 will be the product of everything but the first one, so that's 20, N2 will be the product of everything but the second one, so that's 15, and N3 will be the product of all but the third one, so that's 12. Good. So this is a good starting point, and then using the constructive method from in the proof, we need to find the inverses of these. So what we want to do now is solve N1, X1, congruent to 1 mod little n1, which is 3. Good. We want to solve that. We want to solve n2 x2 is congruent to 1 mod little n2, which is 4. And finally, we want to solve n3 x3 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Good. So that'll be our next step. So in other words, we want to solve 20x1 is congruent to 1 mod 3. We want to solve 15x2 is congruent to 1 mod 4. And finally, we want to solve 12x3 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Okay, good. So some simplification is in order before we actually go about solving these. So let's um, simplify this. So 20 mod 3 is the same thing as 2 mod 3. So that means we want 2x1 is congruent to 1 mod 3. Good. And now um, it's a bit easier. So if we're working mod 3, we notice that 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 is 1 mod 3. So that means x1 is congruent to 2 mod 3. So there, we can take x1 to be 2. And now we'll continue doing this. So 15 is congruent to 3 mod 4. So here we have this is 3x2 is congruent to 1 mod 4. And then again, we notice that 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 is one more than a multiple of 4, so that tells us that x2 is congruent to 3 mod 4. So there we have our modular inverse there as well. And then finally, 12 um, is congruent to 2 mod 5, so we have 2x3 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Okay, good. And then we notice that 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and 6 is 1 mod 5, so that means x3 is 3 mod 5. So here we have x1 is 2, x2 is 3, and x3 is 3. And so now we can form our solution. And so our solution will be given by x1, n1, b1, plus x2 n2 b2 plus x3 n3 b3, where the b's are given over here. Good. So let's see what that will give us. So that will give us um, 2 times 20 times 1 plus um, 3 times 15 times 2 plus 3 times 12 times 4. Okay, good. And now um, we can add all of that up and we'll notice that that's equal to 214. So that means 214 will be a solution to the system of linear congruences, but we know that our solution should be um, <coughs> 
unique modulo 60, so we can take this mod 60, so that means x is congruent to 34 mod 60, that is our unique solution. And that's the end of the example.